your channel, Nomadic Hippie. Roadside Giraffes. Colorfully painted bovine. Cute little tortoises. Well, he's not really that little. And ginormous Jurassic creatures could only mean one thing. One thing. That I have traveled south. Far south. South of the border. Welcome everybody to another nomadic life video. A video from the road, a video from an amazing town, an amazing place that is known for its roadside attractions. The town itself is basically a roadside attraction. We have a place over here, a reptile farm. I might take you guys inside there in just a little bit. But before we do, let's walk around town and kind of look at some of the amazing photo ops that you can get with a lot of these numerous statues and uh, photo walls and just the craziness that is south of the border. Let's just walk around, see what we could see first, and then to close it off, the reptile garden. So I think this is probably the best place to start today's uh, video. I was going to say stream, but it's its video. The ginormous observation tower here at south of the border. What's amazing about this town is every building itself is like a roadside attraction. Every little thing in this town is a mini roadside attraction. I mean, look at this restaurant. It just screams, come in, have a bite to eat. And if you don't want a ginormous hamburger, well, maybe your taste buds are ready for something like this. A 20-foot hot dog. You heard of the one-footers, the two-footers, but here's a 20-footer hot dog. That's enough to fill up any appetite. You can find pretty much everything here in south of the border, except for a good taco. You would think a town named after a Latin area, Mexico, you would find a really, really good taco. Nope, their food, their Mexican food here is pretty much basically generic Taco Bell style stuff. Not very good. But their photo opportunities, well, that, that more than makes up for it. Here we have Dino's Latin cousin, El, El Dino, El, yeah, El Dino. Kind of hanging out with another prehistoric creature. A very scary looking rabbit with horns. And what do they call him? A jackalope. Jackalope, the evilest of all creatures. And if you want a photo op, well, I think here's one for you right here. He just wants to give you a hug. Wait, you heard of the three amigos? Well. Here's their ponies. And would you look at the size of this Kong size structure? That guy is massive. Yeah, you want photo ops? South of the Border's got you covered, but they also got something else that's pretty fantastic if my camera will catch me. Come check this place out. Yeah, would you look at this? This could only mean one thing, one thing only. That uh, they have statues of dinosaurs, I guess. No, I'm kidding, guys. It means they have a reptile lagoon. And if it's open, well, uh, I'm gonna take you inside. I am taking my life into my own hands, though. Not, not just because there's uh, reptilian creatures in there but pretty much because Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, they're not, they're, they're zero safety measures. You could do anything you want. Don't even need to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. They don't care up here. They're, it's all a hoax. So uh, me on the other hand, I feel different about it. So definitely I'm gonna go in prepared. I got my hand sanitizer, got my mask, 
and uh, I'm going to slap that stuff on and take you guys within this amazing place and uh, hopefully find some I, you know what I'm, I'm going to look for a turtle I'm, I'm sure they got alligators I'm sure they got other stuff but do they have turtles that's what I'm on the hunt for today a turtle oh I forgot I forgot Rep snakes are reptiles so they probably got snakes in there too that might be better than a turtle could be all right all right, uh, I went ahead and paid it. It's $8, fairly inexpensive, and uh, definitely worth it. Let's head on in and show you guys some critters. Uh-oh, is it locked? Would you look at this, rain or shine, you can come in this place because it's all under a roof. A roo what, what, what? Okay, okay, I'll be over to see you in a second. To look at the size of that monster. Some breathers just walked by me. I'll let them get a little bit ahead. You know, you know, they call, the gay people call us breeders. I call the people with no mask breathers. Okay, it's not as funny. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, you want to be loved, don't you? You want to be petted? Come here. Come here, come here, come to me. Come, oh, you want food. No, you just, you want to be picked up, I know. Oh, no, no, don't fly, don't fly away. Yeah, this place is definitely massive and these birds are definitely noisy. I, I don't know if anything's supposed to be in there. I don't see any wildlife. Oh, yes I do, yes I do. They're over there sunbathing underneath those heat lamps. I see what's in there. I see. We have a Morlet's crocodile from northern Guatemala. Looks like a monkey. Doesn't look like a crocodile. Oh, never mind. I see him. They're over here. Just kind of kicking it. Energetic creatures. You know, if you're ever out in the wild and you see a crocodile, or, you know, I live in Florida, so we get alligators. Just bring a heat lamp with you. Put it over them, they, they won't attack, they'll just sit still. They'll just lay there and enjoy the heat lamp. You'd be 100% safe. Okay, this one freaked me out. Is he outside the glass or inside the glass? I can't tell. Oh, he's on the inside. But he looks extremely close to me. Kind of frightening. They have definitely taken a lot of safety measures because you have all these fences around, right? Catch me, camera. Catch me. So you have all these fences along the walkways, but also all the animals are enclosed in their own fences. So they're like double fences. So there is no way you're getting next to that guy right there, or girl, or he, she. Definitely not getting in there. So here we have the option. We can go straight to the snakes or continue on that way since there are breathers down there. I think I'm going to go see the snakes first. Wow. Let's see what kind of snakes they got here. Western hognose, big milk snake, white-lipped pit viper. That sounds spooky. Oh, he's green. He's back there. See him, guys? He's green. So is that, so is that boa. What beautiful colors on that guy. Hello. 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 He likes me. He likes me. Very familiar with these guys. They're all over. Surprised I didn't have some sleeping under Cousin Eddie after sitting for a week. And would you look at that Gila monster. He's just chilling. Chill. The Gila monster is just like gators. Slap a light above him. They'll just relax. Look at that guy. He is totally chilling. He's, he's 
He's using that rock as a pillow. He's as lazy as my cat. He's, he's a little more dangerous than my cat, a unless she's really hungry. I'm not a big fan. I mean, I live in Florida, so I see these guys here all the time. They're just out and about, crossing the streets, hopping in people's swimming pools, just enjoying life. It's kind of weird to see them all cooped up in that tiny of a space. I mean, but up north here in South Carolina, if you want to see a gator, I guess this is your only option. In, in, unless you want to drive to Florida or Georgia. And look at this fun photo op. Look at that. You could be a you could be Pablo holding a snake. Uh oh, are you going in the water? Are you gonna? Oh, it's a turtle. A turtle and a gator are going swimming. Get in the water, turtle. Get it. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, oh you're so cute. You're so cute. You're adorable. He's just chilling. Look at those eyes. He's watching me. He's watching me. I don't know what he's watching. He's not watching me. He's watching something else way up high. Way up high in the sky. Oh, here's another one. Hello. Are you going to watch me? Are you, you going to watch me? He's just, uh, he's chilling too. Are you coming to get me? Are you coming to get me? You'll conk glass. If you, if you, if you come towards me, you'll, your nose is going to get sore. Looks like, uh, well, somebody's eating gator tail tonight because this one here doesn't have a tail. Stumpy. He either got it bit off or uh, the owners of this place just got hungry. Do alligators grow new tails? Can you just lop off a gator's tail and will it grow back like a regular lizard? I don't know. And I don't want to find out because I like, I like my gator with a tail. That gator's biting that turtle. Keeps trying to grab the turtle's foot. There he goes. I, you guys can't see it, but over there, over there, that gator keeps biting that little turtle. Ain't gonna do no harm. Ain't gonna do no harm to that turtle. Silly gator. So here we have a dwarf crocodile. Range Africa status endangered. That's because they're in all the zoos. They're not really endangered. They're just in all the zoos. Okay, here we got a king cobra. Not a queen cobra. A king cobra. Not a prince. A king. Whoa, look at the size of that snake. Thing is massive. I don't know where it's head. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Very, very slow. He stopped. His head must be over here by the end of his tail. But you can't see it. I see his tail down there. I don't know where his head is. Okay. Let's move along. Nothing to see here. Okay, this here is a West African Gaboon Viper. Venomous. And it's probably one of the most beautiful snakes I've ever seen. Guys, look at that thing. I don't know if you can see through the glass. Let me let me use my shadow. I'm gonna close my legs. Look at that snake. How beautiful is that? And this one's probably 15 feet long, I'm guessing. Maybe more. Look at those colors. Here's a snake that uh, pretty much all of us are very accustomed to seeing. Not as beautiful as that one viper, but pretty awesome looking. And uh, last but not least, we got a yellow conda, a yellow, uh, 
anaconda from South America. Look at that beauty. And for Indiana Jones fans, Raiders Lost Ark, snakes, why did it have to be snakes? Black Mamba, very dangerous indeed, very dangerous. Oh, okay, enough of the creepy crawlers for you guys because I know a lot of people are going, oh no, no snakes, no snakes. Stick with the less creepy things like this girl right here just kind of chilling. And would you look at this? The elusive albino armadillo. Someone's heading home. He's done watch, uh, playing with the tourist. He's done with his photo ops. He's parking in his garage. They're, they got a two car garage, if you can tell. A two car family. in here I'm assuming it's reptiles and a family of breathers and sneezers not a good sign I thought I was done with the snakes. Oh, had to get out of there. I was getting hungry. I was getting hungry. Snakes. Anyway, I didn't show you guys everything that was in there, just in case you guys want to come. It's a pretty big establishment. Lots and lots of pretty incredible looking reptiles. They all look healthy, happy, and uh, contented, especially one of those snakes. Looked a little bit overly happy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, get out of here, and catch you on the next one from another roadside attraction, hopefully as amazing as this place. Well, just have to watch and find out. Until the next time, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you from probably north of the border next time. Peace, everybody.